Hi guys, Roger here. So um, this is a video that follow up with the yesterday information we have. So yesterday in the video I already posted which is the Amir, the GIF right, and then uh, also the prediction of the new shimmer which is Petros. Then now we actually have more detailed information. This is from Taiwan Dislike. So they also posted the GIF, but not just GIF, they posted more information. So in um, Dislike Korean, they only post until here. Right, uh, sorry, Japan. They only post under here, the description wise. Then for here, they actually um, describe more about Amir and they also mention about Petros. Right, so for this part here, they uh, they are mentioning like um, what is Amir doing, which is Inkido, okay? So what is Inkido doing is like, uh, where is he from? He's like, he's, he might seem like lazy usually, like um, unuseful or something like that, but. Um, but he'll always stand on the side to hit the criminals and protect the uh, what's that called? Uh, protect the people. Something like that. It's more description about him, and not just that. He they also mentioned that Amir is a attacker because it, it says that um, it, it deals damage and is more um, stronger against shield Esper. All right. Then not just Amir, they also mention Petro. So if we bring this wording into the Google Translate. So this is the translation. Yeah. So this is the translation. So Amir is an output agent, which is, I will assume this is a DPS Esper, and is good at fighting enemy against of shield system. So um, shield system, this reminds me of Sakura. I, I don't think, I don't know if the Sakura pink color thing is considered shield or not. Then maybe this, uh, if that, if the pink color thing of Sak from Sakura is considered shield, that it might be useful as well. Or maybe this shield is only trigger um, to enemy like Jin Chiu or Jiang Jiu Li or who else? <clears throat> a Lian. Lian also is a shield as well. So she, he is good at fighting enemy against uh, agents of shield system. So um, they, they, he might be good. He might be good to counter Lian, I guess. I guess. But Lian is not just about her, her shield. It's also about her healing as well. So I don't know if Amir's kid is able to counter that part or not. Then, more. Petros. Abandoned by fate. Awaken the Minotaur. Minotaur. I don't know how to pronounce uh, uh, correctly, alright? Sorry. So, Awaken by Minotaur, which is the correct prediction I predict yesterday. Cursed by fate. Petros is an offensive agent, which gives me the vibe of fighter, who is good at causing damage to a single target and powerfully suppressing low health target. So, um, what I'm guessing is Petros, which is the one we saw yesterday, this guy here. He is not a defender, even though he gave me some defender feel because he's like very thick, very um, palm and buff character, like muscle muscle a lot. So it gave me like, is he going to buff Wu team a lot more? I, I hope it's not defender, right? Then it actually went out, it's an attacker. At least from what the description from Taiwan is like here, it's an attacker. Then this, what he does is he deals damage on single target. Right, not just that, and powerfully suppress low health target. So this low health target here, I'm two, I have two predictions. It's either the first one, which is when enemy have low HP, then he deals more damage. Right, or if enemy max HP is lower than his max HP, then he deals more damage. If that's the case, then he might have the potential to actually fight Wu Yu. Like the current PvP situation, you will see 90% of the team is Wu Yu, right? Then other 10% is like either Iki or Anna or maybe um, Chu Yao Suje, like this kind of mixture. But most of the time you will see Wu Yu plus Chu Yao Suje or Wu Yu uh, herself in one team or Wu Yu Iki in one team. Everything that's at least one Wu Yu there. Then the rest of the 10% is other team. So Wu Yu is conquering the PvP situation now. Maybe Petros here is actually uh, will help to turn the table around do not make Wu Yu everywhere. Okay, Wu Yu will not be useless even though there's a new shimmer came out. You can see Momo, Momo, Momo is the counter of Wu Yu, but Wu Yu is still there. Jin Chiu is the counter of Wu Yu, but Wu Yu is still there. So Wu Yu will still have her own value, but it seems like Petros will deal damage, suppressing low health damage, right? So let's say if this low health damage is lower than max HP, Wu Yu build is low HP because Wu Yu have to go all in into defend stats and crit damage stats then her own max HP is very low. Then Petros might have the potential 
or chance to actually counter with you. Maybe okay. I'm just I'm just uh, assuming because this the information we get it from um, Taiwan dislike and this is I don't know if they make it um, purposely or not because they should not include this because this is a gif of army only. There's no patros here, but they still mention about patros in in this section. All right, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. You can feel free to comment down what is your prediction about. Um, Patros as well. So, of course, we have more information here. And how do you think about Amir being good at fighting enemy agents of Shield system? Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Special thanks for the direct support on the YouTube membership. So, for the benefactor of our tier, which is Gen MP Rosas fifteen, Monkel Rajali, the Bluers Chulain, Pigeons Roulette. Thank you so much for the support. And supporter and patron of our tier, which is Louis Janada. Agni, Code Wilderness, Wang Tamer, Ziggy, Kamaruki, Sunwaltz, Rimu, Chani, Von Hexa, Luxley, Rosen Bassie, Antonio Winterspoon, Marilyn Williams, Uncle Chad. Thank you so much for the support. And special thanks to everyone who have been supporting me for one month to five months straight. So hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.